Hey all, Heba here and welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Sea of Conquest and this video here on trinkets, which is a new uh, addition to season 2 and it's really really cool. So uh, the way you get these things is basically you play the roulette just like you do for heroes, but this time uh, you can choose to use your conks to uh, get you know, rare, epic and legendary trinkets. Uh, and uh, these are basically items that you put on your heroes instead of items that you put on your ships. That's basically it in a nutshell. Trinkets are very, very powerful. And if you want to keep growing your might in your ship and your heroes, you really have to get into this. But keep in mind, like I said in the beginning of the video, you will only get access to trinkets once you access season two, right? So if you just started playing this game here, you're probably still in season one and uh, it'll be about a month, a month and a bit before you are able to access season two where, you know, trinkets are a thing. So don't, uh, you know, panic if you don't have this option in your game. It's simply because you haven't progressed enough yet. So uh, trinkets introduce new resources like souls teardrops that come in rare, epic and legendary quality, right? So you need these to uh, help upgrade your trinkets. Plus, uh, another part of the upgrade requires eternal flames in the sea. And uh, these you also get uh, just by playing the game, but you re they are required for upgrading your trinkets. So uh, like I said, there's plenty of trinkets in the game and they come in legendary, epic and rare flavors, just like pretty much everything else in the game. And uh, some are obviously better than others. If you're, for example, going for blazing damage, some of these trinkets are very, very powerful and uh, you should try to uh, get them <laughs> best you can. Others are good for healing and others are good for, you know, agility. And there's many, many uh, different things to, to build for really. So this is an addition to the game that allows you to even to specialize your builds even more. Season one already had very deep customization, but with the uh, start of season two, it's getting even better. So uh, the game is just expanding and expanding and that's awesome. So now you know how to get trinkets and uh, now I will explain how to upgrade them because there's two paths of upgrades and uh, you need different resources and uh, it's not really explained well in the game. So I'll show you in detail here. So uh, trinkets go on your heroes uh, to grant them better powers. So uh, firstly, before you can upgrade your trinkets, you need to disassemble some other trinkets. And uh, this isn't explained at all in the game and it's actually quite hard to find. So uh, I'll show you how to actually do that now. So uh, to access the disassemble screen, you need to find a hero, press the plus sign next to their name and then press the plus sign again. And uh, then you will notice on the bottom in the left, there's a disassemble button. And uh, that button is what you're gonna click to actually get into the disassemble screen. And this is the only way I found doing this so far and it's not exactly obvious. So uh, just like in Diablo, you can choose the trinkets in here that you don't want. And that's of course all the duplicates uh, that you have like many of, for example, in this case, I have a lot of rare duplicates. So uh, you just select all the trinkets that you don't want anymore. And uh, you can see down in the right uh, side above the disassembly button, how many resources you're going to get from disassembling these resources here. And uh, notice that the diamond is blue because we are only at this time here, we're only disassembling rare uh, trinkets, right? So you're only going to get blue diamonds. Well, actually they're not called diamonds, they're called teardrops. But uh, in any case, if you disassemble blue or rare uh, trinkets, you will get blue teardrops. If you disassemble rare, no, uh, epic, you will get uh, purple. And uh, if you disassemble legendary, you will get yellow, right? So uh, to upgrade, uh, you know, legendary trinkets, you will need to disassemble at least one legendary trinket, right? So uh, just like Diablo, basically, at least the older ones. So as you can tell, I have a few duplicate epic uh, trinkets here. So I'm going to just disassemble a few for them so you can see how the resources change uh, when you disassemble different grades of quality, right? So I will just pick some uh, epic uh, trinkets here. And uh, once, like I said before, you disassemble them, uh, you will get a teardrop of the corresponding color uh, plus the flames as well. So there, and now we have two uh, souls teardrops that are purple, not blue. 
So the eternal flames are used to upgrade uh, trinkets and you can use those for any kind of quality. So now here I have a legendary uh, trinket and see how I'm upgrading it just by pressing the upgrade button. Every time it requires more, uh, you know, resources. So this continues until you run out of flames. But this is just the upgrade path. You know, there's a different path if you look up to the top left and that's called Ascend. So I can't do that on the legendary because I don't have any, but uh, on this epic one here, I can do it. Uh, so I'm just gonna show you how to do that. First, I'm gonna upgrade it using the leftover uh, flames. And then we're gonna click the Ascend button. And you see how I can ascend the rank here by using uh, one of the purple uh, resources here. So uh, doing that, you will increase the uh, drowning damage that this trinket is doing. So see how it went from uh, 11 to 13% right there. Pretty good. So uh, that's pretty much how you do it. But of course, you know, upgrading legendary items this way is going to be expensive before, because first you need to get additional legendary items that you actually want to uh, disassemble, right? So uh, it's going to be challenging. And you can see uh, how high the uh, thing will actually go as well. So uh, of course, with rare items, the ascension is much easier because you're going to get a lot of those that you just need to throw out, basically. So uh, you can see here how I can just, you know, uh, totally uh, max ascent, I guess is the word. <laughs> uh, pretty much all my uh, rare uh, trinkets here. And I can then distribute them to just random commanders for the time being until I find something better for them. I think that's the best way to do this. So uh, you should make sure that every commander you're using on your ship uh, has a trinket. It doesn't have to be perfect, but uh, at least one, right? And then when you find something better down the road, you upgrade those and you change uh, the, uh, you know, the placeholder trinket for a trinket that's more suitable for the hero. So I'll give you an example here with Will, uh, because he is a blazing commander and he doesn't have a trinket. So we're going to press the plus button next to his name, and then we're going to find a good trinket for this guy here. Because uh, you want to max the blazing damage, right? So obviously we're going to pick the Wanderer, the Drifting Wanderer here. It does have blazing damage. And if you uh, give this trinket to a first mate, you get an additional bonus, right? So uh, Will is a first mate hero. So uh, we're going to equip the Drifting Wanderer here. Uh, well, on him, I guess, is the word. And uh, there you see, this way you're going to max this trinket completely with blazing and it's also a first made hero. Now, of course, a legendary hero would be better, but uh, Will is the best one I have. So I uh, will do another one with uh, Lester here. He's a legendary hero, but I don't have a legendary trinket that suits him. So I'm going to give him this epic, epic trinket here that uh, increases blazing damage, right? It's not perfect, but as soon as I find a legendary trinket that does blazing damage, I'm going to uh, switch this with that new trinket. So uh, is this the way of making uh, Lester more useful until I find the perfect trinket for that guy, right? So that's trinkets, guys. I hope it made sense. Any questions, put them in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you out there.